Hi there, Steve Coffin here. Today I want to answer a question that I got here on my YouTube channel and it basically is about how do I get past that intermediate level. A uh, person here, Rimu N, which is the username on my YouTube channel says, how do you get past the intermediate wall? I'm at a point with French where I understand native speakers. I'm able to speak about different topics but sometimes struggle to say things a certain way and express myself. All right, let's talk about that for a second here. First of all, if you enjoy these um, podcasts or at least uh, videos, please subscribe to my channel. My answer to uh, Rimu N is congratulations. You have achieved a lot. I love it when I get to that level in a language where I understand native speakers. Wow. That's big, that's huge. Many, I think that's the first step, comprehension. That's the base from which other things develop. That's where you got to get to through input and listening and reading and, and speaking and listening and reading again to where you can understand native speakers. Able to speak about different topics, but sometimes struggle. Well, of course you sometimes struggle. And as you continue to speak and interact with native speakers, you gradually get better. But you've now got that grip on the language where you can enjoy things in the language, you can go out with people in French, you can watch movies, you can read books, you can enjoy interesting things in the language, acquire knowledge, you know, pursue your interests. And all the while as you're doing these things, and, and you should try not to be self-conscious about, about your skills, about the things you aren't able to do, just be confident that in enjoying the language and using it and interacting with the language, you're going to get better. And, and I would say that you're not at an intermediate level. You're not at the intermediate wall. You're at a, at a high intermediate level of starting to approach advanced because a lot of people don't get past the beginner level. They don't get to a level where they can understand a lot of what native speakers say. And I have in the past compared language learning to an upside down hockey stick. I don't have a hockey stick here, but if you can imagine a hockey stick with a blade, if you turn it upside down, you've got this first period in language learning, which is quite steep, but where we have this sense that we're, we're all of a sudden able to understand some things in the language, we're able to say some things in the language. There's this feeling of discovery and and wow, look at me, I can fly, I can swim, I can ride my bicycle, I can do things that I wasn't able to do before. But then pretty soon we hit that flatter, longer, the shaft of the hockey stick, and it's a long, long journey. It's a long journey of acquiring words and gradually increasing our comprehension, increasing our ability to do things, in fact, increasing our vocabulary. That's what it basically boils down to. And that's a constant rise. And you never quite feel that you're as good as you would like to be in all of my languages. All of the languages that I speak, I would like to be better. If I had time, if I weren't trying to work on a new language, I would go back in and improve in French, in Japanese, in Mandarin, in Spanish, in German, in the languages that I already speak to some degree. You're never going to be 100% uh, you know, as good in your language you're learning as you are in your own language. So I think it's very important, and I say this all the time, I, wherever you are on this hockey stick, even if you're on that first sort of steep portion where the language is still confusing and you listen and still don't understand but you're struggling to get up to that the first sort of ledge or if you're on that long long road of gradually improving wherever you are you should say look at me I'm good I can do stuff in the language that I couldn't do before and all I have to do is to continue and enjoy the process find interesting things to listen to and read focus on that enjoyment rather than trying to second guess yourself gee I'm not as good as I'd like to be forget all of that you will there's always this element of uncertainty not quite as sure of yourself and and self doubt and stuff like that forget it enjoy it so that's my advice how do you overcome the intermediate wall keep going it's a good place to be bye for now